fire under one of the generators took the Drake power plant in Colorado Springs offline overnight so they could assess the damage. It also has some wondering now what this means for plans to decommission the power plant. Bill Folsom continuing our coverage tonight in studio. Bill. Yeah, Drake offline, but other power plants kept power going uninterrupted to utility customers. Two generators do most of the work at Drake. This one now needs repairs. The other one was offline for maintenance with plans to fire it back up this week. It went back to work today. A force of firefighters. We do have a larger response right out of the chute, but that is to get people there and get them moving. A large building requires a lot of firefighters if flames spread. Size can also create a false perspective. Every industrial fire has its own unique set of circumstances. Um, but I can also tell you our most dangerous fires are single family home fires. Industrial steel and concrete are better for limiting the spread of flames. It still can suffer major damage. A 2014 fire at the same plant, two generators offline, one was never repaired. This 2019 fire is different. You wouldn't know that anything had caught on fire because it was really not visible until you opened the door to Unit 7 and looked inside the turbine. The fire spotted by Springs Utility crews who collaborated with firefighters. Flames out with a persistent glow below a generator was likely oil still on fire. Shared information triggered the decision to use fire dousing foam. Because that, that fire was not a fire we're going to put out with water. Post fire, utilities leaders know some may ask if this factors into ongoing discussions about if and when this plant should shut down. If it comes up, it likely would be a minor factor among many in the process of decommissioning a power plant. That should Drake be de decommissioned, that we're prepared and we do it responsibly and we do it in a way that we still can meet customer expectations, reliability, and demand. Currently under discussion is a 15 to 20 year timeline for decommissioning the power plant. Exact details, they are still coming together. For now, this remains a reliable power source in Colorado Springs. Rob.